Okay, let's start with our usual warm ups and see if we can stretch the back of the legs and hip area a little bit today. <clears throat> so feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor. Get that core activated, showing ribs toward your spine and up and shoulders back and down. Reach your head toward the ceiling, stretch your spine apart and spread your toes. <clears throat> focus inward, get your yoga perspective and keep that inner focus throughout. Inhale, arms at shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out, keep those shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front and exhale the hands behind you. Press the fingers toward the floor and lift your heart. Exhale, pivot on over and come as deeply into that pivot as you'd like. So think about <clears throat> straightening your legs, lifting the knees toward your thighs and lifting your sitting bones. So you get a good stretch through the whole back of your legs and then pull your ribs toward your spine maybe a little bit more. Take a breath or two, bring your hands toward your head for your shoulders, move your chin around. And then soften your knees a little bit, lift your ribs, sitting bones down, and wind from the bottom of the spine all the way up, and lift your heart. So nice upper body back bend as you come up, but remember, you want to keep lifting through the whole spine. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feel your spine getting more activated, and we'll do that again. Arms at shoulder left, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep the shoulders still down, and then clasp the hands the opposite way behind you as you press your fingers down in your chest high, lift the whole body, and then again, pivoting, coming all the way over, straightening your knees as much as you can, Tighten the front of your thighs so that back of your leg releases and move your chin. Straighten everything and bend your knees. Wind from the bottom of the spine back all the way up. And again, lifting your heart, but also through the shoulders so that you're not compressing that low back. And then on an inhalation, come on up, release your arms and feel your spine. And then keeping one arm down, bring the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, we'll stretch the sides. So keep hips and shoulders facing the front, slide your hand along the leg down, and reach the hand across next to your ear. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, feel the ribs stretch, and lengthen through the whole body. And then inhale upright, release that arm, and do the other side. Arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Stretch it out, lean to the side. And again, as you come all the way down, just push the foot away and the hand opposite as you look to the front, or slightly up, but not down. Take a moment, sliding that hand toward your leg. Inhale up and release. Feel the sides more open. Feel those hips a little bit more stretched apart. And shoulders back and down. Spine stretching apart. We'll do our twist. So arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Spread your toes, feet hip width apart. Spread the whole spine apart and turn to twist. Take a moment and breathe. And as you exhale, pivot over in the twist. Keep your legs as straight as you can and the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Spread your toes, lift the sitting bones, and just relax. Keep the arms by your ears. And then on an inhalation, work your way back up. Stay in the twist and lift your upper body into the back bit. So remember, very gentle on the low back when you're twisting. Take a moment and breathe, shoulders down. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switching your arms. And again, bring them back by your ears and stretch your spine apart. 
to twist to the other side. Another breath and exhale over. Deepen as much as you'd like, keeping the weight on both feet, lifting your sitting bones, and relaxing your whole body. And then again, in the twist, work your way up, keeping your arms by your ears, and in the twist, lift your heart. So remember, upper body only for your back bend when you're twisting. Take a breath, shoulders down, elbows back, chest really high, lift the whole spine, and then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Arms up, fingertips toward the ceiling, right above your shoulders, and shoulders down. Pull those ribs in and up, sitting bones down, and then hinge at your hips, coming forward, arms still by your ears. Lift the sitting bones, straighten those legs. Feel that spine, stretch it a little longer, and then drop into ragdoll. Just hang a moment, and then Hold your big toes with your index and middle finger thumb on the outside, or put your fingers under your toes and the backs of your fingers on the floor, and we'll do gorilla. So as you do gorilla, lift the kneecaps, tighten your thighs, lift the sitting bones, whole legs straight, stretching through the back of the legs and hips, and then straighten your spine. So make it parallel to the floor as much as you can. Shoulder blades toward your waist, sitting bones pushing back and crown forward, and feel that whole body lengthening. Elbows as straight as you can. Breathe, gorilla pose. And then releasing your hands, again, wind your way up. And as you get to the top, shoulders back and down, take a moment, just feel your body and bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep the palms toward the floor, fingertips are reaching out. Stretch your spine apart again for a twist. Spread your toes, get rounded into your feet and turn your whole body toward the side. So hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning into the twist, arms straight across from each other as much as you can. Take a breath and then pivot forward with that hand in front coming down toward your feet and the other one straight above. Stretch, keep the heels on the floor as much as you can and just deepen as far as it feels okay. And then pivot back up Arms straight across and turn back to the center. Shoulders down, crown high. Exhale, turn to the opposite side. And again, stretch it out as you get into your twist, everything lengthening through your spine. Legs as straight as you can. And pivot, tipping the hand forward towards your leg, keeping the other one straight out up above. Take a moment and breathe. Feel the hips, ribs, and shoulder turning toward that side. And again, pivoting up, looking to the side, arms across from each other, shoulders down, spine stretching apart. Exhale back to the center. Arms stretching out, palms toward the ceiling, and bring the hands together overhead. Look at the thumbs coming to a back bend. So remember, Lift through the lower back as well as the heart as we come into your back bends. And then pivoting over, exhale, hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, drop into ragdoll. Slide your hands up into our halfway up stretch. So hands right under your knees on your shins, spread your fingers and toes, sitting bones and crown stretch apart. Get those kneecaps lifting, tightening the front of the thighs, getting those hamstrings stretched apart. Remember that pivot is right there at the hip joint at the top of the thigh. Stretch it out, shoulder blades towards your waist, sitting bones back, base of the skull, crown forward. Stretch that spine as much apart as you can, especially through that low back. And then exhale down. Right dog, bend your knees slightly. And then pull your hands behind your legs. 
Lift your sitting bones, straighten your knees again, pull your head towards your thighs, or your ribs towards your thighs, your head towards your shins, and get as deep a stretch through that back of your body as you can. And then release your arms and bend your knees slightly as you wind back all the way up, coming into mountain pose once again. Take a moment, breathe, and turn your toes slightly out. Knees bending towards your toes, hands above your knees will twist again. So sitting bones back, chest open and crown forward. Take a moment, get the spine stretching apart. Kind of tuck your sitting bones down slightly. And then as you exhale, lift the hip you're turning toward ribs and shoulder, shoulder coming down toward the knee. So you're coming into your twist, pivoting slightly right at the hip joint and keeping that spine stretching apart the whole way down. Take a breath, just relax. Stretch the spine, exhale back to the center. Stretch it out again, and we'll twist to the other side. Exhaling, shoulders slightly lifting, you're turning toward along with that hip as you turn hips, ribs, and shoulder looking to the side. Take a moment, bringing that shoulder down toward the knee. Take a moment, breathing. Remember, not a lot of pressure in your hands. You're doing spine work here. Twisting, stretch it apart, exhale, turn back to the center, stretch it long. So again, lengthening sitting bones and crown apart. And then tuck in your chin, lift the bottom ribs in the back of your body and wind all the way up. And shoulders back and down, feet to the front, coming back into step, no, mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe, sink evenly into your feet. Spread your toes out. We'll do a little balance practice. So get your toes spread out, your foot grounded. Remember, you want the ball of the foot, base of the toe area connecting, but not gripping the toes. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active, ribs towards your spine and up, and bring the other foot up. So, Begin slowly bringing that leg all the way toward your heart as much as you can. Find your balance and circle your right foot both ways. And flex and point before you put the foot back down, shifting to the other side. Again, spreading the toes, getting that whole bottom of your foot supporting you, checking your alignment, checking that core, Shoulders relaxing, crown reaching up, and bring the other foot up. And again, as high toward your chest as it wants to go, find your balance and circle the ankle. Breathe into the ankle, into the hip area. And again, flex and point and put that foot back down. Sink evenly into your feet, relax your shoulders down and bring your arms out at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, hands again above your shoulders. Pull the shoulders, shoulder blades down, sitting bones down, straighten your legs. Keep your arms by your ears, everything extended mountain. Deepen into those feet evenly. Keep your arms next to your ears as we squat. So chair pose. Coming with the toes or the knees toward the toes, but not beyond. Push those sitting bones way back. Put the sitting bones tucking down and forward slightly and stretch the base of the skull and crown away. Keep your spine as straight as you can, stretching it apart. Take a moment, maybe deep and a little bit further. And then fingertips lead, coming all the way back up. And remember, do it only as deeply as your legs want. Exhale, hands back all the way down. So you don't need to bend those knees a whole lot if that doesn't work for you. But what you want to be doing during that pose is really stretching the spine apart, 
as the hips are going back and the crown forward. So you're still stretching that spine as we go into the squat. Take a moment and breathe. And let's do that with our twist. So bring your arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, stretch it apart, come into your squat as deeply as you'd like. Remember, not beyond the toes with your knees, push the sitting bones back, tuck them down and forward, feel that spine really stretch apart. And then hands to your heart, stretch apart through the spine and turn into the twist. So hips coming up slightly on that side you're turning toward as you bring your ribs up and your shoulder up as well. You can bring the elbow to the outside of the knee and leverage for a little more twist if you love it. But remember, you want that spine stretching apart. Breathe into it and go only as deeply as you'd like. Elbows more or less right across from each other, whichever amount of twist you're in. And then exhale, turn back to the center. And we'll twist right to the other side. So again, stretch the spine apart and bring your body turning to the other side. The hip lifts slightly, the ribs go and the shoulder. You can bring that elbow to the outside of the knee if you love the twist or not, it's your choice. But keep the elbows as much right across from each other as it works for you. Take a breath, keep those hands right at your heart. And then on an exhalation, again, release, turn back to the center. And bring your arms next to your ears, straighten things out, sitting bones down, spine stretching apart, fingers lifting, coming back all the way up into extended mountain. Hands out and down to your sides. Exhale, hands to your heart. And inhale, we're doing a little upper body back bend here, lifting through the ribs, the back ribs, as well as the up front ribs, and stretching your spine. Exhale, coming down, all the way to ragdoll. Do our halfway up stretch, knees straight, elbows straight, and spine straight. Tuck those sitting bones again, stretch the spine through that back of your body. Remember, where you're putting your attention is where your energy is going. So let's activate through that low back. And then bend your knees, coming all the way to the mat, coming into child pose for our transition. Hands by your feet, forehead down. Get a good stretch. If you like that low back stretch, remember, bring your knees together as you come forward, and that'll stretch that low back area a little bit more. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels. Let's bring the legs up to the front into staff position. So take a moment, pressing out through the heel, pulling back with your toes. Activate your core, you'll reach the crown to the ceiling. And take a moment to breathe. And then as you exhale, go ahead and let that low back sacrum area come down first and pause. Get a stretch through the low back. So the same bones are going toward your heels. Your core is activated and helping support you as you come down. And then just slowly coming onto the bottom ribs and then onto the shoulder blades and shoulders all the way to the floor. Take a moment there, just a little reclined integration, sitting down slightly toward your heels, press the back down, and don't forget to breathe. So let's activate that low back a little bit more. So bring your heels in right next to your sitting bones. Knees straight up, so remember a little inner roll to the thighs if you need to, to make sure you're not spreading apart or, and don't angle in together either. Press the back down, sitting bones coming towards your heels, the whole spine connecting to the floor. So really pull it down, getting that stretch through the whole back of your body. And then lift the ribs, pull the sitting bones back, 
and let that whole back of your body arch up from the shoulder blades to your sitting bones so you've got space under your low back. Back strengthener. Just keep going at your own pace, exhaling down, inhaling back up, and just letting that whole low back and hip area, pelvis area, move as you breathe. Pressing down, really feeling the stretch, arching up, and letting that low back get a little bit more strengthened. And then bring the back down to the floor. And bring both knees up towards your chest. So really hug the knees in. And then keep the right knee in and stretch the left leg out. So keep pulling in with that hand, the hands on your knee toward your heart. Straighten the left leg as much as feels okay for you. And then exhale, release that leg and bring it next to the other one. And again, sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, draw the knees in. And again, up toward your heart, hug it in. And this time, hold the left leg, straighten the right leg out. And again, as straight as it wants to go, knee pulling straight in toward your heart. So not out to the side or in, just straight in, giving a good stretch. Sitting bone toward the heel that's pressing out away. Pull the knee in as deeply as feels good. And then again, exhaling, release that knee and let it go. Take a moment, feel that low back a little bit more stimulated. And let's do a twist. So bring your arms, palms up, out from your shoulders. And we'll do our bent knee twist. So sitting bone. Well, not a chiropractic twist. Sitting bones toward your heels, bend your right leg and put the foot on the left side. We're rolling all the way to the left side. Remember, head on the floor, pillow under your knee if you need it. But the further your knee goes to the floor, the more that low back area gets a good stretch. So bring the knee down, hold it with your left hand, bring your right hand up toward the ceiling, palm open. And then lowering that hand right at shoulder level, so not down towards your feet or up towards your head, but straight back. Let the whole shoulder chest area open in the twist. And turn your head for your neck area twist. So the more the knee stays down on the floor, you, the more you'll get that low back area stretching apart. If you do this on the edge of a couch or a bed, you can actually push the knee even deeper into this twist and get more low back stretch if you're having that low back rushing things together and giving you that sciatica pain. So just breathe into it. Remember, exhale, letting it release and relax, allowing the twist to happen to your body's satisfaction. Never force it. Just go as much as your body is wanting and needing. It may click and clack if you've got some adjustments going. Let them happen, but don't force them. Just breathe into it. Exhale, any tightness. And of course, hold your twists longer on your own. But we don't have time to do that in our practice today. So go ahead and release your knee. Exhaling, pull onto your back. Straighten the body out, sliding the foot near the other one. Take a moment just feeling how that worked in your body. And of course, you need to twist the other way. So again, sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing down, then that left foot up to the right thigh. Knees straight up. Exhale, head on the floor as you roll all the way, hands together with knee to the floor, to the right side. Right hand on the knee, holding it down, pillow if you need it or deepen if you can, and bring your hand up above your shoulder. Follow the hand behind you with your twist. Exhaling, turning your head for your neck area twist if that works for your neck. Holding the knee down if that works for your low back. And just let gravity bring the arm down. <coughs> Excuse me. Gravity bring the arm down, letting that shoulder relax toward the floor. 
as much as your body is willing to do today. Keep breathing. Exhaling tension. Letting your twist happen as deeply as it wants on this side. And remember, just allow the twist. Hands straight out from your shoulder, not down toward your feet or up toward your head, but opening your heart as well. And as that shoulder and hand come toward the floor, just relax, let it happen, don't force it. Exhaling, letting things release even more along the spine. But of course, we need to release that and roll onto our back anyway for our final relaxation. So go ahead, hands, palms up at your sides, shoulders down, toes toward each other, and just relax. Deepen your breath, and as you exhale, sitting most slightly toward your heels, pressing the back even more down into the floor. Take a moment and breathe. You can bend your knees if you need to. You can even put padding under your knees with your knees bent, letting that back press into the floor for that stretch if that's feeling good for you today. Take a breath. Let your body soften and sink into that surface beneath you. Just deepening that connection to the earth's support. Letting your muscles release and your body totally relax. Energy releasing, body relaxing, softening the ribs, sinking the belly, everything just deepening into that earth embrace. Shoulders relaxing. Turn your head side to side, let the neck release as well. And just let your body sink, growing heavier with each exhalation, deepening into that inner awareness and letting thoughts of your body release from your awareness. Just allow your attention to release your body, letting that whole hip and pelvic area just relax even further. Deep breaths. Tension out as you exhale. And as your body releases into the earth support, just let it go. As that happens, let thoughts of your body release, knowing that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them go as well. There's no need to think of the past or anticipate the future. No need to focus on your body or even your breath. Just let the thoughts flow away as easily as your body deepens into the earth. And as you relax your body, you release your mind. Just let it go. No need to focus on any content of your thoughts. Let them away without awareness. Letting your awareness turn inward and turn to that peace within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. And just take a few moments being peace. And if your body is releasing and your mind is relaxing and you have time to keep relaxing today, just stay in your relaxation as long as you can, stretching your spine, releasing your body. And if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just enjoying energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment 
to the room, to your body. And begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you. Moving your ankles and feet, hips and thighs, legs circling around maybe, that low back releasing, arms stretching as well. And of course, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, turn your hands toward your heels, back pressing down, draw your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. Just feeling that stretch through the low back and appreciating that work your back does for you every day as well. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.